If you like the idea of creating a membership site for your online business, but you're not quite sure how you would structure the membership content, then this video should help. Today we'll be discussing five types of membership sites you can create using Thrive Suite. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I invite you to do that and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified when we publish new videos. So membership sites can be a really great way to earn recurring revenue for your online business. But the form factor can be a little confusing, especially because there's so many different kinds of membership sites you can create. So to help you figure out what kind of membership site is right for your business, we will go over what's possible when you build your membership site using Thrive Suite, specifically in regards to the form factor. Hopefully these ideas will inspire you to start working on your own membership site. And be sure to stick around to the end because I'll be covering one big mistake to avoid when you create your membership site. The first type of membership site you can create is one where all blog posts in a particular category are protected. This type of membership site is appropriate when you want to provide regular content, such as new product reviews every week, or maybe monthly summaries of the latest trends in your industry. Now, what's nice about this type of membership site is that it's really easy to set up. So take the example of adding weekly product reviews. You can easily do that by creating a blog post category just for your membership content. And when you create your membership product in Thrive Apprentice, you can protect that entire blog post category. Then to provide access to the content for your members, you simply create a page in WordPress and use the post list element to display all posts in that category. So it's super easy to set up. And if you have a regular blog that isn't part of your membership, that's totally not a problem. Regular blog posts will remain unaffected. Now remember, blog posts aren't limited to written text, so you can create video posts, audio posts, and if you create your posts in Thrive Architect, then you can use all of the elements that come with it. So if you're trying to figure out what kinds of regular content you can create for a membership site, here's a few ideas. You can do interviews, product reviews, case studies, a paid blog or vlog, weekly instructional content such as fitness videos, you can do recipes or even photo galleries. So protecting your membership content by using a specific blog post category is a really great option for lots of different kinds of membership sites. Next, you can create a membership site where you protect specific pages. This is a little different from posts because posts are typically used for adding new content regularly and pages are typically used for reference or other standalone purposes. So putting your membership content on pages can be useful if your membership is centered around having to update things regularly. So for example, you can create a membership that provides resource information or lists of products. Pages typically work well for curated lists or things that you would regularly update, but you wouldn't necessarily add new pages every week. Next, you can create freemium blog posts or pages for your membership site. So you can create a blog post or a page and have a portion of it be free to everyone while the rest of it is for members only. So what would that look like? At the top of the page, you might have some information or maybe even a few paragraphs so that people can see what the article is all about. And then in the members only section, you would have a message that says, to access the rest of this article, please sign up for our membership. Now, as far as dividing up the information, there's a few different ways to do it. So let's say we have a blog post titled seven steps to selling on TikTok." So here's a few different ideas for how to turn that into a freemium blog post. Idea number one, you can describe the seven steps in a brief summary at the top of the post. And then if people want to read the full detailed explanation, they have to become a member. Idea number two, you can have steps one through three be free and steps four through seven be paying members only. Idea number three, you can have the entire article be free, but in order to download a related lead magnet, people have to sign up for your membership. Now, as far as implementing freemium blog posts on your website, you'll need to use the conditional display feature that comes with Thrive Architect. We do have detailed information on how to use this feature, which we will link below. Next, you can use memberships to build your email list. So instead of placing your membership content behind a paywall, you can make the membership itself a lead magnet. For example, you could advertise a free membership so that people can get access to white papers, exclusive interviews, or PDF downloads. Using a membership program as a lead magnet is also a great solution if you want to offer a library of different items 
as your lead magnet. So rather than creating 10 different opt-ins for 10 different resources, which is quite a lot of work, you can just lump them all together and advertise them as a resource library. Now, how can you use a free membership to grow your business? Well, once someone signs up for your membership, the possibilities for marketing to that person dramatically increase. And that is thanks to the variety of options available in Thrive Automator. So for example, you can send nurture emails and pitch your paid membership, or you can trigger an evergreen countdown campaign for a limited time offer, or you can add tags to your subscribers in your email marketing service when they take certain actions. So having people sign up for a free membership opens up just a ton of marketing opportunities because now they're registered on your site and you can use triggers and actions in Thrive Automator. Next, you can use a membership site to provide an ad-free experience to your members. So placing ads on your website can be a really great way to subsidize the cost of running your website, but you can also offer an ad-free experience with your membership program. So all you have to do is place the ads inside of a content box in Thrive Architect, then use conditional display to specify when to display the content box. So you can just display the content box for non-members and hide the content box for paying members. So we've gone through a few different types of membership sites you can create, but don't forget that you can also create a membership that combines several of these ideas. So your membership might include in-depth reviews, case studies, and video interviews, and all of these can be placed inside blog posts and protected by using a particular category. In addition, you can offer some blog posts as freemium posts, and in addition to that, you can add in online courses that are built in Thrive Apprentice. And in addition to that, once someone becomes a member on your site, you can trigger actions in Thrive Automator and do things like market your other products to them. So there's really quite a lot you can do with your membership site. Now, as you figure out which type of membership site works for you, the one thing to avoid is overloading yourself by promising too much to your members. This is something that I've seen over and over again with membership creators. They promise a lot at the beginning because they're super excited about getting their membership site launched, but it soon becomes just way too much work for them to maintain from week to week. So eventually content production slows down, members become unhappy, maybe the marketing funnels for getting new members in isn't quite as honed in as it should be. And so then the membership site just fizzles out. So instead of creating the ultimate membership site with all the bells and whistles, start with something easy, start with something manageable so that as your membership site grows, you can always add more bells and whistles later. And eventually you might even get to the point where you want your membership program to keep going, but you don't want to keep creating content for it. So at that point, it's 100% okay to hire team members to run your membership site for you as long as it's sustainable. So choose your membership site wisely and try to promise only what's manageable for you. And that way you'll have the energy to keep running your membership program for a long time to come. All right, so I hope this was helpful and I hope that you're feeling inspired to get to work on your membership site. I would love to know what kind of membership site you're thinking of creating. So let us know down in the comments. You can get Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Architect, and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click on the link below to learn more. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.